welcome back to Animals Matter. Almost 30 years ago, Australian ethicist Peter Singer wrote a book called Animal Liberation. Now, that book became an international bestseller and changed the way that many people regard non-human animals. It also sparked off the formation of animal liberation groups around Australia and similar groups around the world. Today, Peter Singer works at Princeton University, New Jersey, but I caught up with him during a visit to Melbourne. I wrote Animal Liberation because I became aware of what was happening to animals, what people were doing to animals, and started thinking about the ethics of this, about you know, what is it that entitles us to use animals just as things for food or to experiment on or for entertainment or whatever else it might be. And uh, you know, when I realised that really there's nothing that justifies us in doing that, that this is a, uh, a huge wrong that is done to beings who are in our power, I felt that I wanted to tell the world about it. Having presented such a radical view to the public, what was their initial reaction and how has that reaction changed over the last two decades? Well, at first the reaction was a bit slow, I think. I mean, it got some very nice reviews uh, in a lot of newspapers around the world, particularly, I guess, in, in uh, the United States and in Britain and also in Australia. But there was no movement then. There was no animal movement to pick it up. So it was a bit slow in gathering steam. It took uh, three or four years before people started talking about it and developing animal rights or animal liberation groups and uh, you know then it gradually expanded started to snowball and uh, whereas you know it might have taken two or three years to fell, sell the first 10,000 copies uh, pretty soon it was sell, selling uh, 20 or 30,000 or 40,000 in a single year so it actually was a, a bit of a sleeper that that gathered steam as it went along and I'm glad to say it's, it's continued to sell and it's never been out of print in the uh, 28 years that it's now been published. And how do you see the future for the animal movement? The animal movement has been around now for a long time. It's been growing in strength. It's been growing in public support and public sympathy. The number of uh, vegetarians and vegans has been uh, increasing. And uh, I think people are more aware of what we do to animals. And you know, the ordinary people don't like it when they realise how we can find animals in factory farms or the things that we do to them in labs. They're not comfortable with it. So I think we are making progress. I think the uh, European Union is showing the way in its uh, abolition of a lot of the confinement practices and factory farming. And uh, I think the rest of the civilised world will, will follow. They'll see that they don't need to exploit animals in this way. And uh, it'll take a lot more time because it's a big change that we're talking about, but I think we will get there. How wonderful to have Professor Peter Singer on our first edition of Animals Matter, a man who's been an inspiration for thousands around the world and has done so much for animals and the animal movement. Great to have him share so much of his valuable time with us.